there are five common security mistakes that people are still making and they are such a major security risk. If you're one of those people, please stop doing it immediately. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We have to start with this. There are several ways to unlock your phone. You could use a pattern, you could use a fingerprint, you could use your face, but all of these methods have a backup option where you have to enter a PIN. When you do that, the phone unlocks. As long as you don't select 1111 or 0000 or 1234, that's fine. But the big mistake that people are making is using the same PIN that they use to unlock their phone to access things like their banking apps or other apps that require a PIN. That's the same as using the same passwords on multiple sites, which of course you know you shouldn't do, right? So why is using the same PIN to unlock your phone bad for unlocking your banking apps? Well, phone thieves are now watching their victims before they grab that phone. And of course, if you do use the same PIN, they quickly log in and transfer money out of your account. This happens in seconds before they reset your phone so you can't track it. But what should you do because you still need to have a PIN to unlock your phone? Of course, use different pins to unlock your phone that you do for your banking apps. And when you do enter your pin to unlock your phone, hold it in some way that nobody can see that you're entering the pin. Right, next up, let's move on to Google. You do a quick Google search and you click on the link and it takes you to the company website. Seems innocent enough, right? Well, what you may not realize is that you've just landed up on a scammer's website and not the real company's website. What scammers are doing is buying up keywords to popular search term, especially to software apps. And so their sponsored link appears right at the top. This means that when you search for something like Zoom or Adobe or any other program or any other device even, their website comes under the sponsored section and it looks official. So you click, land up on their phishing site or worse, on the site that has a download button to install their malware. The reason they're able to do this is because anybody can log into the Google ad system and buy any keyword and bid on that keyword. And there are virtually zero checks for that. So the lesson here is to be really careful when you click and try to avoid those sponsored sections whenever possible. Right, the next time mistake that people are making is inside email. Let's talk about spam and spam is just one of those things that are just a fact of life these days. Whilst our email system does a pretty good job in kind of getting rid of that spam, some do slip through the cracks and land up in our inbox. Now the big mistake that people are making is instead of just deleting the spam, they go and open up the email and scroll down until they find the unsubscribe link. So why is this a mistake? Well, legitimate companies will honor your unsubscribe request, obviously. However, what scammers do is send out millions and millions of these emails. They have no idea if the email address they have on their list is a real email address, and more importantly, if it's still an active address versus an old one that nobody uses. By clicking on that unsubscribe link, you've actually confirmed two things, that it's a real email address and that it is active. They then sell this information to other scammers as a verified functioning target. So you land up with even more scams. And then a bigger problem becomes because they sell that information to data brokers. Now data brokers buy your information and have ways to link your email address to other data points such as your telephone number and your address. And this goes up on their website for anyone to simply buy. So what started out as a little annoying spam has now become a real security threat. Now to get that information removed from all those data broker websites takes a lot of time, which you can do manually, or you can use today's sponsor, which is Delete Me. This is a service that acts as your agent. They automatically hit those data broker websites, look for your information, and if it's there, they get it removed on your behalf. It's the set and forget service that I like the most. Once you get them going, you don't have to do anything else besides scanning your report that you get. This is where you can see exactly how many systems have your information, how many of them are in the process of being removed, and how many of them 
have already been removed, protecting you and your family from scammers and worse, from stalkers, which is a serious issue, should be a priority for all of us. Use the code LIRON20 and get 20% off your Delete Me plan and link is in the description as well. Now, let's look at the next mistake that people are making and this one has to do with your smart devices. Whilst we all like having security cameras and the ability to open our shades at a touch of a button, these smart devices are also a major security risk. There is no way that those companies selling smart devices for a couple of dollars are able to keep up with all the latest vulnerabilities. This is how hackers are able to access your home network, steal your information, mine Bitcoin using your network, and even spy on you using your own security cameras and your laptop or your computer cameras. So what you must do is put these smart devices on your router's guest network. This keeps them separate from your home system and should somebody get into your smart device, they cannot see the rest of your network. They cannot access your computer. They cannot access your backup devices, nor can they switch on your baby monitor or your computer's camera. I have a whole video on this, which I will link to at the end of this video. And speaking of accessing your computer, I keep reading comments like, I never update my computer software. For some reason, people think that those updates are only there to allow Microsoft or Apple to spy on your data. This is a massive mistake. Those updates are rolled out not only to fix bugs and give you more features, but also plug up any security vulnerabilities that have been discovered. You often hear companies have been breached because of an unpatched system. That means that a known vulnerability that was already fixed with an update was simply not apply to that computer. So hackers were able to simply get in. So now that you know the dumb mistakes that people are making, please make sure you're not one of those people and check out these two videos right over here for more information about your computer and about that guest network video. Give the video a quick thumbs up before you head out to like this video and I will see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.